Anyway, I'm just going to name this video Black People Hate Investing, right? Because it's true, and I'm, like, super annoyed because, you know, it's like everything is, like, everything is, like, people only focus on garbage. Like, let's just say, for example, the first girl I was talking to, you know, basically I was trying to help her out um, with getting an account pretty much. And I just told her, like, you know, if you can't do anything, like, just, like, really just sign up to get in. And that's all you have to do because the um the percentage rate, the yielding rate, pretty much, of the increase, you know, the money that you put in, of course, is actually quite a bit. It's actually a lot for a high um uh, for I mean for a savings account, right? It's a lot. Um, basically, no. <laughs> basically, no. She didn't even sign up for the thing. Like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> like. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not even trying to be like mean or nothing like that, but I'm just saying that it's just too, it's just what I see is like, because me personally, I never had anybody tell me anything about anything like this. Like if I had somebody tell me, I would have been into this stuff like a long time ago, but I never had anybody tell me anything like this. So I go online and then I watch a lawyer. Then she talks about it, you know, but she talks about the percentage is not even close. Like it's not even close to this percentage over here that they're offering. Right. But it's still was a high percentage, you know, yielding account, something like that, right? I want to get into it, but I need some do some type of special requirements, and it was very hard, and I didn't have the money for a lawyer. That's understandable. But what's not understandable is that when a, ser a service is online, and it's technically a free service, you know, just to get into, to have, to make sure they don't do anything else, you don't even, like, you don't even sign up for it. You don't even try to take advantage of the fact that they're offering this, like, high-yielding, um, offering to give you a high-yielding account. Don't even take advantage of it. One example, you know, she's saying she's studying and all that stuff. That's great and all, but what's the point of studying when you're just going to lose all your money spending on the garbage? Like, what is it, that absolute point? Like, you're not going to do anything with the money, but spend on garbage, and I know, I know what she's going to do. So, anyway... Another example, another example. This old girl, right? She's poor. I went to school, like, basically at this special program or whatever. Like, when I was, like, 17 years old. She's poor, right? She wants to go into the same program to get her high school diploma. At 23? At 23. All right? Um, and she's, she's thinking about it. Who thinks about something at the age? I mean, I uh, listen, I ain't trying to down nobody who who going to get like something, but you think like you should be able to make up your mind about what you want to do before you hit the age of 23 by something you should have had when you were like 17 or 18. So anyway, I entered the program when I was 17, graduated when I was 18, <clears throat> and I got my high school diploma, right? What irritates me is to a point where she's still sitting around thinking, and she says that she's depressed. She's depressed, but she's not She's not even trying to go to school. It's kind of like the opposite of the other person. But still, when it comes down to it, you know, okay, well, take your money and just like, I don't care if it's like, you know, $50 or $30 or $10, just take it and invest. You already know that she ain't going to do anything with the, um, with the 10 bucks or 20 bucks just to go out and get some snacks. You already know she's not going to do that. Like, but it's kind of like, it's kind of like, what they say, how like pretty much animals, certain animals live like within like the present. It's like people need to get from out that animal type of thinking. Like you live in the present. Okay, I won't be able to buy me no potato chips, $10 worth of potato chips. Get from out that shit. Like what the fuck is wrong with you? Like just take the money and put it into account and invest. You literally got nothing to lose. Like what is it? I'm trying to help you, right? Um... And, uh, oh, 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 you want to spend, like, $20, $30 on getting some hamburgers and fries and a chili cheese dog, and you can't even, like, not do that for, like, just, I mean, I guess you get paid money. You can't even, like, not do that for just, like, one month. Like, are you serious? <laughs> right now, I just got me, like, a whole, like, pork shoulder, right, which is, like, on sale. Like, it was just really cheap, like, and it weighs, like, about, like, 10 pounds. Super cheap. Um, for like maybe, a, you know, $12, $11, something like that. Um, 10 pounds, 11 pounds. It's a lot. Right. And I got me rice and I got me beans and that's what I'm eating. Like, are you serious? So anyway, um, when it comes down to it, that's another person I just, um, 
talk to, right? If this is under the video of like investing, and I'm trying to get the dude to invest. And I told him um, basically how much money I just made. Right, he's a black man, and he told me I respond to the wrong comment. Why would I respond to a wrong comment on the video of investing? It's like, why, why would I do that? <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. So when you think about it, well, when I think about, it, I'm like just kind of irritated because it's not even just like. They say, like, it's financial illiteracy. To me, it's not even financial illiteracy. It's just life and literacy. Like, it just it just doesn't doesn't make much sense. And it's like, technically, I'm still young, so I can, you know, pretty much just do whatever. But, you know, at certain points, at certain times, you get to a certain point where, like, you're a certain age, and therefore, like, you're supposed to know certain things or you're supposed to be doing certain things to make sure, you know, your life comes out, you know, better and fine. These guys, they sit up there, like, 30... You know, years old, or the other girl, she's 20 something years old, but then get a high school diploma just thinking about going to school. Who thinks about going to school? I literally like type like um, three pages worth of information for the type of school that she wanted to go to to get her high school diploma and still just thinking about it. Just say that you're not going to do a damn thing. Say you're not going to do a damn thing because the biggest thing that gets on my nerves is people who say, that they're depressed, but they have like a free opportunity right in front of their face, like literally free, like actually a opportunity that will pay them, right? And then they don't even take it. Like that's the biggest thing that gets on my freaking nerves and it gets on my nerves because I don't get opportunities like that. And when I do, I like take advantage of them. I try to my very best, um, you know, unless something bad happens, something like that. But I try my very best. So anyway, guys, uh, am I getting a headache? I think I am.